question. Thank you, Vanya. <clears throat> so what, what I want to talk about is um, uh, touch, the sense of touch. Uh, sense of touch is the oldest sense that we have, and uh, all other senses that uh, we possess are derivatives of the sense of touch, including the sense of uh, vision, of hearing, smell, taste, kinesthetic sense, and proprioceptive sense. And the uh, <clears throat> sense of touch plays an extremely important role both uh, physically and cognitively for us, but we often forget it because it's so f deeply ingrained in us. So if you were never touched in your life, you wouldn't know where you end and the world begins. In other words, you wouldn't be able to develop a concept of one or two. So there'll be no mathematics, no physics, no geography, no philosophy. There'll be no thinking at all if you were never touched in your life. Touch is also extremely important physically and uh, lack of tactile stimulation in an early life uh, often leads to uh, failure to thrive and sometimes even death. But our society currently <clears throat> is uh, getting uh, more and more touchless, so there is much less touch, not in this environment, but in general. <laughs> and uh, in our craving for touch, people do strange and unusual things. So you can get a tattoo or a piercing or two, and uh, actually you enjoy this intense tactile stimulation and go for more. Or you can get involved in some of the violent uh, contact sports like uh, football or boxing. Uh, you can join a dancing club, or you can just pay to be touched, uh, which is you get a massage. So <clears throat> one of the reasons why <clears throat> uh, uh, there is lack of tactile stimulation in today's society uh, is uh, the development of new technologies. And uh, they make our interactions more virtual, abstract, including the intimate ones like dating. And I decided that my goal and the topic of my research is to bring these abstract concepts uh, together with a very tangible experience. That, for this purpose, I actually coined a term and published a paper, uh, and I call this new domain, uh, the combination of tangible and virtual, uh, I call it tangiality. And it exists somewhere between reality and virtuality. Uh, the question is, how can you connect physical information, uh, physical experience to abstract information? Well, it's very simple. Pro by providing a consistent physical feedback, a consistent physical experience. In a pre-cell phone era, I uh, dare to imagine um, uh, such an apparatus which uh, allows one to squeeze another person's hand while talking on the Phone. And of course, the first industries to adopt new technologies are gaming industry and pornography, and this suit allows one to interact physically with virtual pornographic websites. N no, you cannot buy it anymore because uh, several of the elderly users with pacemakers uh, <laughs> suffered <laughs> a heart attack, so you cannot buy it. But what you're witnessing now is a whole slew of uh, devices that use touch-sensitive screens uh, for interaction, including iPhones. But uh, the problem with these is that you cannot feel the graphical elements that are displayed on a touch screen. But it's entirely possible with the use of so-called vibrotactile devices. And you also <clears throat> realize that uh, the kinesthetic sense is being now becoming more and more important. We want devices that know what we are doing, our gestures and movements. So, in my opinion, the future of the development of different interfaces is creating information, digital information, that's feelable, squeezable, movable, stretchable, that does feel real, provides us with an experience. My name is uh, Slavko Milikic, and I teach psychology of touch, among other things, at the University of the Arts. And uh, I'm very open to any suggestions or 
call or <laughs> collaboration from any of you. Thank you very much and uh, stay in touch. Okay.